welcome back everyone so the video content creation is becoming the trend because it retain human attention longer than images and the writing do as a beginner who is not familiar with the video editors getting a free video editing software for beginner might prove difficult in this video you will be learning the best video editing software for beginner its features and its pros and the cons also you will be learning some extra tip that will make your video editing seamless so the video editing software we are talking about is the wondershare filmora 13 which is the popular and one of the best video editing software so you will be getting the link in the description you need to come to this website then you have to click on download on the very top and the downloading will be quickly started now you have to click on the downloaded file and need to go with the basic installation and once it will be installed you will be getting this kind of dashboard and here you get many different options now before starting with a new project let me show you here they also provide you many other options like you can go with the screen recorder and the moment you click on it you will be getting this kind of dashboard where you can choose either you want to record the full screen any kind of window or custom you can also change the resolution there are many more settings that you can manage from here like the quality aspect ratio and many other things and then you have an amazing option here that is ai text to video and the moment you click on it now here you have to paste your text whatever you want to convert into the video so for example i will paste a text here and the voice language i will keep to english us the voice i can keep to jenny only for example and then you have to click on text to video now depending that how much text you have it may take some time to convert that text into the video so you will have to wait until it's all been done and bingo so now you can see that it automatically converted your text into a very popular video you can see all the slide here in the project and if i play the Welcome video back everyone so there comes a time when you forget your windows 10 or 11 login password and get frustrated wondering what to do next so you start looking for a video and where you need so you can see that it automatically inserted the images the background music and if you want to change any of them then you can change from here only and i believe that most of the people are looking for these kind of options so you will be getting here only then you also have ai text based editing so if you want to try this you can try it then you have the silence detection and so there are many other options like ai copywriting instant clutter instant mood auto reframe auto beat sync and these all are the advanced options that you will be getting that will be helping you to become a pro video editor all right now let's see how exactly the project work so if i click on the new project now here you can click on import and then you can choose your video text audio whatever you want to import so now here for the demonstration purpose i will take a small clip and i will also take a background music and once you have imported your video now you have to drag this to the timeline here and here it is so now let's see what basically all the options that you will be getting we cannot cover all the options because they provide you tons of options and not easy to cover all of them but i will focus on some popular one that i love the most and basically and personally i do all my video editing using the wondershare filmora only so what all option i use that i will be sharing here so once you drag the video in the timeline on the left and top you will find different options like the stock media and once you click here you get many different options here like you can use any kind of a green screen so let's see if i want to take this one so i will click on it and drag it above my video all right so in order to remove the green screen it's very simple below the timeline you will find this option here once you click on it here only find the chroma key just click on it and boom the green screen will be disappeared if you want to adjust it then you can adjust from here only i don't want to do that because it's working perfectly and now if i play the video so you can see that effect so this is how the green screen work and the best part is that you all get over here only and so you will find many kind of clips here that if you want to add you can add it and let's say if i want to add this one it all depends on your creativity that how exactly uh, you mix all kind of editing software and editing material here so in order to mix it what i can do i will come a little bit back and then i will click on the top clip this one and once you click on it on the right hand side you get many options 
So first I will go with the animations and I will put a basic animation that is fade out. And now if I play the video, it looks better because there is a smoke around the video here. And once I play this clip in the beginning, it looks like the video start from here only. Okay, so this depends on your creativity that how exactly you want to edit your uh, videos because all the material you will be getting inside this Wondershare Filmora only. So there are many other things that you can check out here. Then you have the audio section. So if you want to get any kind of audio like sound effect or any kind of background music, then you can add from here only. And then you have the title section and here you get different kind of title that you want to add, then you can add it. Simply click and drag on the top of the video clip and the title will be coming up. Apart of that, you get many different categories here, like the title effects that you can try here. Then you also get the title templates and you can see that it gives you many different options here and all of them looks pretty cool. And if I add this one, so you can see that it looks really good and match my video. And so you have different kind of other categories here that you can check it out in Y2K, in Callout, you get many amazing text from here only. Then you have the news section. So if you want to use any kind of these template, then you can also use it. Now you have the transition and in the transition also you get many different transition and almost all kind of transitions are available here only. So again, you get many different kind of categories like the zoom one, the slide one, the sport that is the new one. So if you want to add any kind of flag, then you can add from here only. And this is how it looks like. And you get almost all country flags. So whichever country you belong to, you can use that particular flag. Speed blur. This is another transition that you can apply between the clips. And basically, if I talk about how the transition work, so let me show you. In order to split the clip, you can use the shortcut key that is Control plus B key. And from wherever you want to split, just take this action clip, press Control and B and the clip will be separated. Now if I want to add any kind of transition like this one, simply I will select and drag it between here. Now if I want to reduce or increase the time, then I can do that on the right hand side. You can see the duration here. And let's say instead of 2 seconds, I will make it to 1. And now if I play the video, here it is. Similarly, you can check out the other transition here. Then we have the effect section here. And in the effect also you get many different options and then you also have the image mask option and if i drag this one into my uh, video clip so here it is so if you are making any kind of tutorial videos and if you want to put your own video at the left and top on the right and top in this way that you might have seen in many video youtube videos then you can also do that and so on you get many other options many other effects like the body effects then you have the audio effects and then you have the new blue FX. And here you get many other options. Again with many kind of categories. So depending that what kind of video you are creating. If you want to add any kind of old TV one. Then you can simply again click on it and drag it to the video clip. And now you can see the effect has been added. And it looks like a TV effect. Similarly there are many other things that you can try. Then you have the Boris FX. And here also you get many other kind of effect. And you can see that they contain a huge effect over here. Let's see if you want to go with the BCC pencil sketch. Again, I can drag it on the clip. And you can now see this is how it looks like. All right, now you have the filter option. So you can apply all these kind of filter, whichever you want to apply. Then you have the stickers. And here you get many other kind of stickers that you can add between the video. Like like and comment, leave a comment, any kind of arrow or any kind of emoji or any kind of symbol like any kind of arrow, tick mark or even you can search here then you also get many kind of template and if you want to add any kind of intro or outro for your video then you can choose the video clip from here okay so these are the things that you will be getting here now once you click on your video clip now on the right hand side you get all the editing material like if I start from the video here you get the transform where you can adjust the scale, the position, the rotation. Then you get the composing option where you can adjust the opacity. You can increase or decrease it. Then you get the background option. And then you also get the auto enhance. So if you want to enhance your video automatically, 
then you can just enable this option and you can see the difference then you have the drop shadow with many kind of template here again the default one the soft one the tilled one whichever you want to use then you have the mask option so if you want to create any kind of mask like especially for the uh, removing the background or making your background blur then you can use this kind of mask then you have the ai tools that include the chroma key the ai portrait option so you can see that once i enable it it basically make the background blur and from here i can adjust the edge thickness and the edge feather and then you have the smart cutout option and the moment you click on click to start smart cutout you will be getting another uh, box here so if you want to remove the background of your uh, video then you have to select the object that you don't want to remove let's say if it's let's say if it's your video and you don't want to remove your own video your photo and only the background then you can simply select it like this all right once you have selected you will find this kind of purple option here now what you have to keep in mind here that all the body all the object should be properly selected so here you can see that this lady on the right hand side it's not been properly selected so again i will try to cover it just to make sure that everything has been selected all right now it seems to be good okay i'm not going in the detail but it all depends on you that how smartly you do this job now once you are done on the right hand side you can see the brush size edge thickness edge feather that you can manage and then finally you can click on save and boom now you can see the background has been successfully removed okay so i have not done it perfectly but it all depends on you that how smoothly and how better you remove it and it will give you the best result then you also have the motion tracking then you can enable it stabilization then you have the animation section here so if you want to add any kind of animation you can choose here if you need the more advanced options you can click on the drop down and choose preset motions and you can see that you will be getting the tons of animation here that you can choose and you can use it for any kind of picture that you will be adding above the video and now after the video we can come to the color section and in color also you can see that you get so many options to do the color grading then you have the hsl option the curves from where you can manage the color you also get the color wheels and then we have the speed section and from here you can manage the speed all right so we have made some changes here i will also add an audio clip for the background here and once you add any kind of audio you also get many different options for the audio that you can apply here now in order to better understand the audio let me quickly import my personal audio here that i use for the videos so i will go and go to the video section and i will add one of the clip here now if i drag this clip to the timeline now so first you can listen my normal voice here welcome back everyone so today in this quick video i will be showing you and now you can see that i will be applying some kind of voice changer here so again i will select the clip and then on the right hand side i will click on audio then click on the voice changer and if i play the audio again so how to change the Welcome, welcome back, back everyone. everyone. So today, today in this, this quick, quick video, video I will be showing you. Welcome back everyone. Welcome back everyone. So today in this quick video I will be showing. Welcome back everyone. So today in this. Welcome back everyone. So today in this. Welcome back everyone. So welcome back everyone. So today in this quick. Bingo. So now you can see these are the options that you will be getting for the voice filter. Then you also have the voice character, like you can appear to like a hacker. So again, if I select. Welcome back everyone to today this Welcome back everyone Welcome back everyone Welcome back everyone Welcome back everyone to today this quick video <laughs> All right so these are the options that you get and again if i come back to the basic option now from here only you can increase the volume here and the other best option that i found that you get many other option like you can use the fade in fade out the pitch option audio ducking ai speech enhancement that you can apply Welcome back back everyone so today in this quick, quick wind video removal, wind removal the normal denoise de reverb hum removal hiss removal so you get many different option here only from where you can optimize your audio for the best quality not only this if you click on the equalizer drop down and you can choose any preset here but if you want to make more changes then you can click on custom click on settings 
and from here i will be showing you how to change the theme in the windows 11 not activated copy so there are many users you can make your voice more attractive you can increase the bass you can increase the treble and you can adjust for the best audio all right so these are the option guys that you get basically with the wondershare filmora and there are many other things that i cannot explain you in one video but yes if you need the information on any particular topic then let me know in the comment section i will be surely bringing a dedicated video on that topic all right so once you are done finally you have to click on export that is on the right in top then you can name it whatever you want to choose where exactly you want to save it then you have the format option quality option i will go with the higher one resolution from here you can choose the resolution the best that you want the frame rate that you want you can choose here and then finally you have to click on export so once it's been exported now you can click on open folder and double click on the file So you saw that how perfectly it worked without any kind of problem. So that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this video editing software useful. And if you are really looking for a good video editing software, no matter you are a beginner or a pro user, then you can of course go with the Wondershare Filmora that give you many advanced options with many kind of templates and many other video editing material. And make sure guys that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.